News 4 New York. With the acquittal of the two police officers charged with raping an intoxicated woman. Will this verdict make women more reluctant to report a rape? At Safe Horizon, which operates a rape and domestic abuse hotline, the answer is very possibly. They'll say, if you report it, nobody will believe you. Because of my position, um, I'll end up, I'll end up winning. And, um, and then when you see a story like this in the news, it, it just contributes to that perception. She added, going public about rape takes courage. Well, it's not the news women want to hear. Rape cases in the city made a double-digit jump from this time last year. Amy Edelstein is a rape crisis social worker at Safe Horizon, a nonprofit that helps victims of violent crime. She says a spike in citywide rape reporting is actually good news. I think that, you know, sexual violence is not necessarily happening more, that um, people are just open to reporting it more. We need to give the victims the support that they deserve. Safe Horizon cree que no es tanto que el crimen ha subido, sino que verdaderamente es de todas las combinaciones de que más entrenamiento en la policía, los programas como Safe Horizon que están trabajando juntos con los programas de la policía, han ayudado a la gente a reportar más. How often the police respond to cases of domestic violence, your group actually handles even above and beyond this, you do your own response. Right. Safe Horizon runs the New York City Domestic Violence Hotline, and we want everyone to know that if you dial 311, you'll get to us. The police provide a critical response for people who are experiencing domestic violence, but victims may have many other needs, including a change of housing, replacement of the income that the batterer used to provide. How will they talk to their children? Do they need shelter? And these are the kinds of things that the Safe Horizon Hotline can help with. Lawmakers gather at City Hall to focus on human trafficking. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney is looking to drum up support for new legislation. They will have to tell the world and take positive steps uh, to ensure that consumers know and workers know that they've made sure that everyone that works for them is being treated fairly. born after 9-11 understand it. Part of what we talk about is that this was a very unprecedented event, a rare event, and one in which society really, really responded and, and was there for people, and we focus on that with our children. The children may not tell you what they're, what they're thinking or what they're feeling, so it is so important for parents to open a dialogue with their children, to let them know the anniversary is coming, ask them what they're thinking about, what they're concerned about, and have that open conversation.